All right, here is the headline. The game is afoot. But let me just say one thing. No matter whether there's an indictment or not, all the noise around this, all the scrutiny, all the bloodlust, all the gotcha game is why we don't have better people to pick from in our politics. Now, I'm not making a judgment. Oh, so you're saying it's too high a bar to not pay off a porn star? I'm not judging it. But I'm saying this obsession with personal lives, with prosecuting our political opponents, I'm not saying it's not a good case, but I'm saying it sends a message. And if you're wondering why the men and women that we have in this country who are leaders everywhere else avoid politics like the plague, this is it. No matter what you think of the case, just the emotion around it and the animus and the avarice is why people see it as so ugly that it's not worth getting into it. Now, what do we do about that and how we cover this? We do it straight. I see the game. I don't like it, but because I understand it, I want to share the field of play for your benefit so you can see it too, and you can judge it. Trump made his play, right? He's being victimized. Uh, now, as soon as tomorrow, we'll see if he has anything to worry about, okay? He likely will not be arrested, nor does he want to be. His bag man, Michael Cohen, pleaded guilty. Trump was mentioned by the feds, you'll remember, in that indictment as an equal in criminality, but they didn't go after him. And in fact, no one did for years. So why is this activity worth it so many years after it happened? And what if it doesn't happen? Well, hopefully, then there'll be no protests. I got to tell you, the former president calling for protests after what happened at his instigation on January 6th shows that he really doesn't care about everything that happened that day. I don't know why else would you make a suggestion like that. Why else would you say something like that after the last time you said something like that and what happened? Now, to the other side of the ball, D.A. Bragg. All this talk is that if he doesn't pull the trigger now after all this, oh boy, he's got real, let's question it, maybe. But that does sound like media hype, right? Because we know the media wants this to happen. Why? Love the action. The antagonists want it to happen. Why? Love the action. Trump needs a pity party more than anybody else does. Certainly more than anyone else stands to gain from his latest legal woes. But for all those who want him held to account, isn't this the last hill that you should want to die on? Couldn't this, even if it happens, even if it's surprisingly substantive, couldn't it stall efforts in Georgia at a minimum where there are actually issues that matter to the rest of us at play? Governor DeSantis. Now, early on, I gave points to Trump. Why? Played the game well. Dragged in DeSantis with this fugazi suggestion that the Florida governor could have stopped New York. Nonsense. It is a weak second act from the Pence can control the certification play. That was also nonsense. Nevertheless, the governor was back on his heels. But now he has the right line, and it's something worth seeing, even in all this noise. This is worth watching, because this is the line he needs to keep. Accusing Trump of being a constant problem for his party, chaotic leadership that lost to Biden, and that he, DeSantis, can beat Biden because Trump will likely lose again. If he can stay on that line and not as uh, may rest in peace, Senator McCain used to say, don't get into the mud with pigs. You both are going to get dirty, but they like it. If he can stay on this line and brush off the attacks, he's got a chance in that primary. We may see his polling pick up. Now, on the Democratic side, having a lot of fun about the potential Trump mugshot, a lot of jokes about lock him up, you know, little memes with Hillary Clinton, kind of a hey, hey, hey. Be careful. Don't forget, you guys on the left act more like loose fingers than a closed fist when it comes to political warfare. You heard O'Reilly here last night. He wasn't wrong. Uh, it would have been nice for him to have a little nod to the hypocrisy that his prediction involves, but... The right will likely come at Biden and company in retaliation with all the power and influence they can muster if the Democrats go after Trump. Now, I'm not saying that means that you shouldn't bring a case. Politics should have nothing to do with prosecutions. But boy, there's been a lot of interplay in the last few years. Will Democrats defend Biden and co. the way the right does with Trump? History does not bode well, my brothers and sisters. 
And what can Team Biden do? Nothing. Watch and wait. Once again, the game is not being played on their terms. This is not about Biden making a move that helps him. He's just got to watch. However, what is the most important piece on the board? You. Regardless of whether there's a case to assess or not, do you care? Will you become obsessed with the coverage? Because if you do, if you give any inclination, the numbers go up too much. The media and the players would much rather cover this than inflation or Ukraine or anything else. This is candy, and it's so easy. So make sure whatever comes warrants your consideration. Hey, thank you for watching. Please go to NewsNationNow.com, NewsNationNow.com, and you can find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button down below. Then you will get more of NewsNation's fact-driven coverage.